Like I just, I'm much more happier now than I was when I wasn't. Right. And that's better. I, so, better is good, in my opinion. Like I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm a weird person here, but I like good. I like better. <laughs> Those are my type of things. I think everybody's looking for best. Everybody's like, oh, who's the goat? Who's the goat? The goat is only subjective to the time that you're looking in. Like, who's the greatest whatever? I don't know. I don't know all of time. I hadn't been there yet. I, <laughs> I will know all of time one day. You know, I'm sure. It's the microphone, bitch. I'm going to let you finish in a minute. And I, I changed it a little bit. That joke was tight, but I'm about to spit the greatest jokes of all time. So you might want to go back to the lab tonight and right. scribble out some of them rhymes you were going to spit and start over. <laughs> but it ain't gonna matter when I take the stage and rip it. That's it. Then I, then I, then I go off and I can't remember what the rest is. Something about being on top of a monopoly board, which means he's on the top of his game. You know. I get it because that's a game. Yeah. By Parker Brothers, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Parker <laughs> Brothers made all kinds of games. Like they were the game makers of games. Now I don't know any more than what I just said, so everything I said could be a lie. What's Parker. your favorite game? My favorite game? Yeah, not maybe not to play now, but of your life. You know what I mean? You oh, might, like a might board be different. game? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, favorite. Parker Brothers. Oh, shit. It's I don't know. It's got to if... be Parker Brothers. No, it doesn't, actually. It doesn't. <laughs> I know. I was going to say. I don't it's got to be Peter Parker Brothers. <laughs> Peter Parker Brothers. Uh, favorite? Man. Favorite. Ah. Man, you getting you getting into the big questions first thing. <laughs> I thought we were going to start <laughs> off real soft, it, like... How's the weather or whatever? What's your favorite board game? Yeah, we didn't lube you up at favorite all. Favorite board game, man. I, sorry? You like sorry just because you say it a lot? Nah, I hate the little popper in the middle. Right. Because it's, it's not a toy by itself. Why not just make that a toy? Yeah. Now I got to go around a fucking board. I can't just walk around and... <laughs> uh -huh. That was the funnest part of that game. Because you're like... I, 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 would, I don't dispute that. Rummy Cube? You, you're a Rummy Cube fan? Rummy... Rummy Cube? Rummy Cube. Tom, oh. you, you were a hoop and a stick kid. Did you run down? You don't the like run, you, you don't even know what Rubby stick. Cube is, do you? I don't know what that is. Rubby that sounds Cube. like an old man game. No, no, no. It's like a younger. It's a. It's a. I don't know. Younger. It's hip. But it's. It's like a. It's a newish game. It's. It, it's newer than like a Risk and Monopoly and and Trivial Pursuit. It's in. It's in the. But you still it's in the Cards play. Against Humanity sort of uh, okay. time. Realm. So it's like cards, and you got to make. It's not play. any of that. No, it's then just. <laughs> It's in that realm of like in that era of being when it sort of came into into its own. Okay, but what is it? It's it's like you got like it's it's like a Scrabble, but it's numbers and it. But it's so it's like you got like a little Scrabble thing where you like a little Scrabble holder. It's tiles, mm. but it's um it's colored numbers. So it's sort of like um like you know the the card games where you got to get like three sixes of the same color or three sixes of opposite color it's like that kind of thing where you collect that game you know? sounds horrible yeah. <laughs> it's like gin rummy with cubes no it's a fucking fun little game dude fun little family game it sounds game. too confusing i need simplicity oh guess who that's my favorite game <laughs> i just to describe people that's the game you yeah, just I thought it was a band a band guess who, the guess who weren't they a band no it's just the who i am going to say you're wrong the Who. Well, both are true. The Guess Who and The Who are two different bands. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was a band. That I didn't care to listen to. Yeah. This, <laughs> like, everybody else did. Everybody else could get mad. Like, oh, no. The Guess Who. Uh, uh, like, <laughs> don't name yourself so simplistically yeah, close. That close. would not happen now. Like, right. if... <sighs> name a band. Like, uh, Imagine yeah. Dragons. If I was, like, Imagination uh, Lizards. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it would be... Completely, people there'd be, there'd a, be a bash, yes. you know, who deserves the name in court. Like, that's where that's where you take it. <laughs> would you have, imagine would, dragons versus imagine reptiles? Yeah, great, it'd be a great court. Title. Imagine unicorns, that'd be one too. That'd be too cute. I mean, too close. Yeah, also it, cute. people would want to keep the name so bad, so you'd get like uh, you'd get the social win. So people would want you to win, but a real like court person, what do you call him, a judge? <laughs> They'll be, court. they're going to be like magistrate. They'll be like, I will not allow it and kill you <laughs> because that's how, that's how music works. Maybe getting yeah. high before you came in. Wasn't the best idea. I, okay. so it's the best idea. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm having a great time. Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, we asked JD this the other day. If you get a genie come out of a bottle and asked you, or uh, you had three wishes from a genie, what would your three wishes be? From a oh, genie? uh to be to okay to be in this 
the best shape I've ever been in for the rest of my life. Hmm. So like I, only you have been in or like what's me, physically me. Like just what's you? the best shape you've been in? 27 when I started comedy. I was in the gym like six, seven days a week. Wow. Just cut I all was, over the place? Oh yeah. I was so depressed. Like all <laughs> all I had was work in the gym. Wow. And that's all I did. I just stuck with it. And then I started comedy and it was like once a week. And then I'm like, oh God, I am not getting better. I gotta do this twice a week. Yeah. And then started doing the improv. So three times a week, four times a week. It just it took over the gym. Yeah. You know? And then I like, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I really let myself go, kind of a thing. And then it's one of those bounce backs the older I get. Right. Right How old now. Are you? I'm 35. Oh, dude. You're just a young man. Yes. You start feeling like you're out of shape now. I don't feel out of shape. I've just purposely not done anything and expected my body to look better. Did you have the six pack? <laughs> Did you have the, you had the Aquaman? I had a six pack for a little bit, right. not very long, but it's most of it was diet and it sucked. It was horrible. But for me, I'm like, I, I just, do you think there's anybody, do you think there's any people that are really ripped and in shape that are not depressed or fighting something? Oh, they're definitely, it's, it's their addiction. It, it's just a different form of addiction. There's no, it's all up here the addiction part, they have to work out to feel better. Just like somebody has to shoot up to feel better or somebody has to fuck to feel better. It's all about feeling better. All of addiction is about feeling better. Yeah. Okay. And I might be wrong there, but There's some truth to that, for yeah. me personally, my addictions and shit over time, it's all about just feeling better. Okay. It's, you know, how many things have you been addicted to? I mean, addicted to well, you just said all through your addictions didn't you say i mean not i didn't mean addictions i meant like through well okay like alcohol uh cigarettes uh food i've always had a problem with food uh what do you mean by a problem with food like just a not relationship with it. yeah just like you you weren't a fat kid growing up right i wouldn't imagine so you I, seem like you've I've sort of been, I'm the fattest I've ever been. Okay. So you look great in your fat form. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't want to see your skinny form. All right. You're way more fuckable right now. I mean, mwah, all right. I hope you fuck all your guests. I, I hope I'm that lucky. I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind losing week. 15. Yeah. How about that? Uh, okay. So I was a fat little boy. And for me, eating was a thing where it was like, I eat what, whatever I was given to finish. You know, you can eat to where you're full. Right. I just keep going to finish, you know? Okay. I don't um, know if that's like an OCD thing. Or your parents yelling at you to finish your food? No, I was the, I was fat. So they were they were hoping <laughs> that like maybe, I, like, if, if I didn't eat, my dad would be like, I love you. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> what do you, well, now, what do you mean by fat? Like, I, like now, if, if, if you were you then, now, when I think we'd I have to pretend kid. you weren't? Or you would, or would you? What do you mean? We're kind of in a part of society now where we're, we're, we're what's constitute. I mean, I can say it about myself. I can't say it about anybody right. else. So I'm not going to say, tell somebody like, Hey, your kid's fat or anything like really? that. But for me, yeah, I was fat. I was the fat kid. What did you feel? Did you know that the whole time or did people point that out to you? I didn't know it like really till it was like third. No, it was like fourth grade. That's when it really hit me. I was like, damn, I am f bigger than everybody you know right and somebody had pointed it out and i like spent the whole summer because it was near the end of the year so i spent the whole summer eating nothing but dried cereal that's all i ate for a whole summer and ran you felt like it was the milk out. that was doing it to you it was really saturated fat and all that shit like i i, I made myself learn the back of a box just f to get in better shape. And I had a growth spurt. Were you drinking like whole milk? I didn't drink milk. I, I was eating dry cereal. Yeah, but like before that. When oh, yeah. Whole milk. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the cereal is probably more. I, I mean, you were the one reading labels, but you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, look at all the. It helped. It did me wonders, bro. Like I, when I came back, teachers were asking my mom if I was sick. And yeah. I was like, yes, like that's the greatest feeling. So you started in the dieting world. in third grade? Fourth, fourth into fifth. Wow. Yeah. And all of it was over about a, a summer's worth of time. So a quick three months type of, I felt like we got three months back then, but it made a big difference. Okay.
And but then did you have to fight it the rest of your life? Yeah. Yeah, you don't Yeah, it's it's a body dysphoria where you look in the mirror and you think you're way bigger than you are. Right. You know, just like it, it goes hand in hand with a lot of things, but a lot of people don't talk about the weight part of uh, body dysmorphia where you're like, oh shit, I'm completely out of shape. When somebody like your spouse or your friend can look at you and be like, oh, like I said to you, I'm like, you look great. If you consider yourself out of shape, you know what I mean? Yes. But our own personal view of ourself is not what other people see. That's a good mm. point. Yeah. It's like a made up vision in the mirror that you can't shake. That's why you just don't look in the mirror. Yeah. I, it's funny when I'm not working out, I don't. And when I do work out, I'm like, look at that. I'm getting in shape already. Almost, you know what I mean? It's like, you can be back in the gym for four days and you're like, look at that. I'm making a difference. And it's no different than the, the fat dude I wouldn't look at three days ago. You know what I mean? Right. Like it's something about doing the work makes me, you know, get to it. You know? Oh, it feels great. Yeah. You know, working out is so good for the brain and it's good for the body, but it's just hard to find the time to do it a lot of times, yeah. especially like going to a gym and shit like that. I said the hell with it and just started working out at home just once in a while, buying me a piece of equipment or something like that, just to put in there. Nothing crazy, but like cheap ellipticals that somebody's selling on marketplace. Okay. I'm like, okay. So you're building a, like a garage gym from yard sales? Yes. Nice. Dude, and it all smells like cigarettes. It's, <laughs> it's great. I don't even clean them. I just start working out on them. I was like, I, I've always heard like you, you keep the sweat. All right. It keeps the flavor. You know yeah. what I mean? That's it's, like, it's like an iron skillet. That's now, what it is. Well, now when you go to buy those things from people or is it just like people that have given up and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they bought this with some delusion in their heads well either either giving up or uh <sighs> grandma really shouldn't have had them stairs you know what i mean oh, like yeah. it's some dead person <laughs> stuff like oh, we we don't work out you know what i yeah. mean we think working out's the one that killed them like, <laughs> <laughs> stupid huh. second um, wish okay okay yes <laughs> oh the yeah. best shape oh, of your God, life totally. at all life for your whole life that's that's, that's a not a one. bad wish i've never heard that one before yeah. Okay, you have two wishes left, sir. Um, to control my dreams. Oh, that's freaky. We We've been talking, talking about, about this all week. You don't need to fucking waste a wish on that. You can yeah. just learn to lucid dream. Yeah, you can. There's you can a lot of things all the time, and I would rather wish for it. Jeez, these are, <laughs> so far, he's used both his wishes on things that he could do just if nope. he got up an hour earlier. <laughs> That's not true. And, I can't and, be 20. And read a little bit about lucid dreaming, right? The, both of your things could be achieved I know with about a course on the dreaming. internet. I know about lucid dreaming, but if it's that easy, then everybody would just be sleeping all the time. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, there's no way everybody, I think it's one of those things you can tap into. And I've done it before when I was on a certain regimen where I could do it. But then it just, I need to get back on it. Or... What was your regimen? This seems to be a theme so far, right? Yeah, he, we've been used to, He used to have like time, but now that he's a 35-year-old busy man, he doesn't have time for his dreams. Okay. Not to write them down. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get up, go to work, man. <laughs> so um, third wish. <laughs> third wish. Oh, wait. Wish. You said you could control, you wanted to control your dreams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what dreams specifically, what, what, what did you, what dreams would you do? That's a good, what I, good question. What are my favorite? Yeah. Well, definitely, like, flight and yeah. floating That's and to too. going through shit and perfect balance. Yeah. I had a dream one time I had perfect balance. I could just jump up on tables and I, <laughs> I'm like, it was crazy. I was just like, man, this is what a ballerina feels like. This is what figure skating is. I'm too yeah. scared to skate on ice. Like, yeah. God, my sister, didn't want my sister was one of the best figure skaters in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And Isn't that, crazy? that, and that is, scary that is so scary yeah like god you imagine is she married she is now yeah. okay can you imagine how good of a ski, like ski, he's got to be on skates he was he, i bet he's got to be great yeah you know what I mean? you got to impress him i guess yeah, you gotta yeah you gotta win him over she's no she would she would smoke him oh she i know actually, she would i'm just saying like that's how she's like 57 she could probably still 58 she could probably still out skate a percentage of the NHL. Skaters. Yeah. She's like, she was that good at skating. So you wouldn't wish for like perfect balance and flight and stuff in real life, just dreams. Yeah. Why is that? 
Wow, that's an interesting question. Well, like I wouldn't, you wouldn't, you had a chance to wish for that, and you just wished for being able to control that in your dreams. But yeah. in reality, you couldn't. Yeah, I think it would drive you crazy if you could do it in real life. <laughs> really? People don't think Too about super power. superpowers would drive you fucking insane. Why? You got something Why wouldn't it? We're not meant to do those things. Because uh, uh, he'd be in here and we'd be like, hey, Dusty, jump on that table with your perfect balance. He'd be, uh. People would never stop. But I yeah. mean, that's not a superpower. But like a real superpower is like the Flash. If you could really travel so fast that you could go back in time, you'd kill yourself. <laughs> you'd fucking kill yourself. There is no way that I think that you would be able to comprehend the amount of speed and yeah. movement and stuff like you if you could if you're flash and you could go back in time would you go back in time to before you had your accident that made you into flash and not have that accident mm. god essentially killing my no but i would still exist yeah I, my, my me myself i'd still exist but just, you just have you wouldn't have flash superpowers oh i would because i already <laughs> exist i can't unexist uh. while existing so if you went back I don't and that's a good conundrum right yeah. there. <laughs> if okay, say that you went back, saw yourself at five years old, right? And you're sitting there, you're you're watching, you know, Mr. Puff and stuff and all this shit, and you kill your you like you kill right. yourself. You grab yourself, and you say, <laughs> you throw yourself to death. <laughs> right. You would still exist. I don't think you'd be like, no. That would suck. What if the only person that could go back in time and kill baby Hitler was Hitler? And then it wouldn't matter, right? Because he'd still be Hitler. Ooh. Yeah, he'd be. Yeah, he would be. But yeah, he would be. He would he'd be. He'd probably but, but if he, pick up and look into little baby Hitler's eyes and fall in love with them and then raise him. Yes, to, to be, be a like, nicer kid. Uh, but, but I heard a thing. really funny comic say a really good bit on that. <laughs> really? I think his name's Seth Payne. Yeah. Really good guy. Is that one of your bits? Yeah. I've been Stole my wallet one working time. Working on good that kid. one. It's not, uh, it's not complete. If but, Hitler could go back in time to see himself as a baby? No, I said like, people are always like, oh, baby, like, oh, let's go back and kill baby Hitler. Let's go kill baby Hitler. But like, why would I be so violent? Maybe go back and send us a good stepdad back there and then raise baby Hitler to be a good little, good little boy. Oh, that's and good. then he's like, I'd imitate baby Hitler being nice and you know, it's Shalom. Yeah. Shalom. I haven't worked it out, but you know, <laughs> it's funny. It out, yeah. It's really funny. <laughs> you make us like Hitler at the end of your bit. Like you make everybody like baby Hitler. No, he's called Addy. Oh, okay. And it's Ad Adolf. He's yeah. Addy. Yeah. But if he went back and killed himself as like a baby, kind of... he wouldn't turn into the, that yes. guy that we know. He's like, Oh, I hate myself of what I've done so much that I'll go back and kill myself. Mm. Oh, I'll just live my life as just some guy. Yeah. Name Addy. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. what, that's what I think they, in that scenario. Right. Also, if you were the Flash and you went back and stopped yourself from getting the powers, this version of you, the future version would die, or not die, but you'd cease to exist because you stopped yourself from getting Flash powers. So now you stop the person that could go back in time to do it. So then it's like, you never even happen. But that version of you lives, like the past version. Yeah. You know? Okay. So you just, like, as soon as you stop yourself from the accident, you go, and then that version. Lives. Yeah, I'm going by Dragon Ball Z time rules. So that's yeah. that's my that's okay. how I think that's time fair. travel works, where yeah. it's like you got different, I don't know. I know what you mean. Possibilities, mm -hmm. I guess, but. I think it's all exists at once, and it's like setting down a needle, and then it's like you, boom, there's that time. Right. But it's also on the, on the disc in another sp spot. Know. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what would happen. I haven't thought this through, really, to be honest. Who knows? All right, third wish. All right. I, I I've never had any it. of the, this conversation that we've had so far. If you call that that with the, that, if you call what we're having that, none of these topics have I ever had a discussion with anybody. Oh, about Tom, before. you got to come to the to mics afterwards. This is this is these these conversations run rampant. Okay. Okay. Third wish, man. Th third wish. <sighs> I don't know, man. That's pretty maybe cool. I would. Maybe I'd just. That's interesting. Maybe I'd pull for more time. I would. I, I would pull an Aladdin and set the genie free, bro. Nice, dude. It worked for Aladdin. He he stayed around with. Him. Yeah, he like hung the out. genie had the entirety of the world to live his life. He came back the next movie. <laughs> like he didn't even take a movie <laughs> off. He was so fucking bored he that really he came. Liked what he did. He came back to the desert. <laughs> To hang out yeah. with Aladdin. He, he did go to Disney World, though. 
Remember he had a little goofy He had the little goofy hat. Yeah. yeah. But that's how unhappy he was. He's like, oh, fuck it. I, what's up, Al? And you got a <laughs> friend for life. But no, nah, I guess I got to think of a real one. A real one. Uh, the ability. Nah. God, man. What a what a deep question. Yeah. If you could that wish is- for anything, what the fuck would you wish for? Your wishes are way different than JD's, by the way. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Everybody's wishes should be different. Yes. If you have a similar wish than everybody else, then, well, I hope you get it. <laughs> if it's that fucking common. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, Me and Seth have actually been talking about lucid dreaming because he used to be able to lucid dream and he doesn't anymore. So he's been, and it, it, he said the main thing about it was uh, journaling his dreams when he got up. That's what I've always heard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And trying to think about your last dream as you're going to sleep. Yes. And getting good sleep, like legit good sleep. But have you ever seen dead people in your dreams? Like people you knew? Yeah. Me too. Have you? That's not really fun. No, I, I don't think. Oh, you had a bad experience with it? I don't know. It's just like you missed the person. I mean, like I was a kid and I saw like my great grandma. And it was like, it made me sad because like, that was like my first experience with like death. Right. And I was just like, yeah. oh, I never get to see her again. And like, I never really knew her that much, but like, I don't know, I was a kid and like, I was figuring out death and I remember seeing her and I was like, this is weird. Okay. Yeah. I see. From the perspective you had as a child, scary. Yeah. Makes sense. I've seen my grandma like two or three very like like me and you sitting here talking dreams, right? Like just sitting down talking. I don't know what we were saying, but I could feel like how you hurt. felt. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it felt great, man. Like that. Mm. I want more dream powers. I should have wished for all dream powers. You still, you, oh yeah. You should have you power wish. over all. Dr- okay. I want to be like Freddy Krueger, but good. Right. <laughs> You want to break into people's house, break into people's dreams and spread love to them. Yeah. I want to give everybody good dreams. <laughs> that, the daydream on Elm Street. Oh, no. I'd just be called, instead of Freddy Krueger, it's just Dusty Cagle. Like, you oh, know what yeah. I mean? That's, they that's both work enough. about, right? Yeah. Wario and Mario. Yeah. I really can't think of a third wish, man. I really can't. Other than uh, have perfect memory. Ooh, oh, okay. that's a good one. You ever seen uh, Dreamcatcher? You just think differently than almost everybody, I think. Huh? You just think differently than almost everybody, you know? That's what, I, that's what, when I watch you do comedy, I think that. Like, nobody, I don't, I can't think of anybody that I would compare you to comedically, you know? Um, and just talking to you, these, I, I could do, a, ask a hundred people, nobody's wish would be any of those things, except maybe somebody with Alzheimer's. Right. You know? <laughs> well, good thing I wish for all my memories. <laughs> so I know that person ain't me, unless it's me from the future right. coming back to kill me. Because if you had all memories, you would actually lose your mind. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, thank you, man. That meant a lot. That means a lot. I try, yeah. I try to have fun. Tom, what are your three wishes? You've never answered. You said his are so unique. What, what, how do they compare to yours? I don't have wishes. I, I don't. You got some desires. Yeah, I, you know, it, it, it probably. Okay, uh, Dusty's your genie. <clears throat> I don't really have answers to that, except for I would like uh, all the answers. I would like to know all the answers Ooh. to all the questions. <laughs> wow. I would have to like to have that sort of a, a, a understanding of sort of all that is. Mm. That's a big ask. Yeah, I'm, you can have whatever you want, right? Yeah. Your head would explode. Would it? I, I've thought about that before because it's like to know everything, because how naturally we want that. Yeah. To know the answers, and I made up like an old saying because sometimes you just make up old sayings, <laughs> and I was like, the man that knew everything knew too much. Yeah. And then I didn't write it down. <laughs> well, it's, it came back. Your memory's working fine. I guess you got one of your wishes because yeah. you need you had that right when you needed it. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? Um, I would wish for goofy, goofy things. Also, like, the lady would, in Indiana Jones that wished I would to see wi- everything, her head blew up in the end. Oh yeah, the aliens. They made her head blow up. 
Oh, Crystal oh. Skull. Yeah. Okay, I hadn't seen that one. Well, I, I would, I'm, I, I'm holding off. Yeah, can I? I was holding been, off. I, I'm gonna make a wish that I get. Years. You're gonna tell me he <laughs> got inside of a damn refrigerator and survived a nuke? <laughs> now, <laughs> giving away stuff. This Seth. <laughs> Spoiler. Spoiler, Seth. Yes. Out. <laughs> Your third wish is that you didn't get the Crystal Skull just spoiled for you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Forget that memory thing. I don't want to remember yeah. that thing Seth just said where you ruined the thing for me. Um, Seriously, you can't think of any wishes you would have. You know, I have similar, like, the, the, the sort of health and money, but those are so small and, like, so, so yeah. you know, it's, it would probably be something stupid, like, I, feel I like would the, wish for my wife to love me like she did when we met, you know what I mean? It's like, whatever, you know? It's well, a valid yeah, one. Yeah, like, something like that. I don't think genies can do that. I would like to. I can't do love. That's okay, that's right. right. I would like I to. people from the dead. I would like to have, like, a never-ending stream of... Uh, <laughs> Of uh, of comedy gold that just mm. entered my enter I could just tap into it any time. Yeah. You know? Yes. By the way, you may not be big, but on stage you're very big. You command the room. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're you're a big performer. Well, I try to have fun. Yeah. I, I like spectacle. Is that how you've opinion. always done it? Huh? Is that how you've always done comedy? No. Oh, definitely no. Oh no. Like you mean from the time I started where I am now? Yeah. Nah. How did you, when the first time you did it, how did you start? I started aggressive, like kind of, and it's just because I was nerves. It was just out of nerves. And I tried to sound different. I didn't want people, I always wore a hat. I didn't want people to think I was from the country as much. So the way I would talk had a little bit more of a edge, edge. to it mm. or something like that. It's like, you know what I mean, motherfucker, you know, like. <laughs> And yeah. I don't talk like that on a regular, but if I'm doing a character, sure. But so, and I just, I was angry. I was just very angry. Right. That was kind of my whole thing. Like, oh, be the angry guy. And I don't know. I saw a video of myself doing it and I was like, you know, I don't, I don't like giving off that energy. It's okay to get mad, but within the confounds of knowing that it's, funny right versus literally being mad i struggle with that too because it's like i found that audiences loved mad they love when i was mad at the federal reserve they love when i was mad at the checkout machine they love when i'm mad at my people when i'm driving and then it's like i i remember adam Allred talking about it. he's like when you're getting mad it's that's you should embrace that and i'm like i don't want to be the mad comp but it's that was i went down that road for a while and you're right it's it's not fun. And then I watched a comic that I watched be angry nonstop. And I was like, I can't, I just can't fake that. I can't perform that every night for 45 minutes to yeah. be like, fucking coffee, <laughs> you know, whatever it is that I'm mad at nonstop, you know? Oh, I agree. I, I, I th I'm not saying it's bad energy or anything like that. But for me, I don't like, I don't like feeling that way in putting yourself into a corner of like, oh, I have to act this way. Yeah. Only stunt yourself, you know? Mm. It's like eating half a sandwich when you got a full fucking sandwich. Maybe I'm trying to lose weight because people at school are making fun of me and I'm, I'm, I'm cutting back. Dude, let them titties grow. Like, <laughs> let them flourish. Let them blossom, all right? You are hitting your second puberty. All right. Second puberty. <laughs> it's just around the corner for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting that sounds horrible i have a question <laughs> I, I have a weird that is a, is that a thing that you, i hope not yes well, i love stupid funny that's my favorite i love slapstick comedies so how'd you get to that when you had that angry energy on yeah stage? how'd you, get, how'd you, to you get to this just kind of fun you should have a podcast dude <laughs> fucking good question the uh improv helped a lot uh Eric had told me I should try improv. And I was like, I don't even know what improv is. I'd never heard of it. Other, And then he's like, you know, like it is. I was like, okay. So I went and tried out and I got part of the team. And then I just started and it was so difficult. It was so difficult. I'm so OCD-ish where I would, I would go over my set line for line for line for line, word for word for word, over and over and over I and over. I never again. get that feeling watching you do comedy. But that's what I was. Okay. I mean, I would set up pictures of my family and stuff like that on a couch and redo the set 10, 15 times, record it every single, every time, listen to it, delete it, try it again on the way with the drive. It was driving me nuts. Yeah, that sounds like a lot. Yeah, man, it was a lot. And it, 
it stunned me so much because if something was off beat, something went off beat, I was useless. I had no way to recover because all I had done is filled my head with the same episode that I'm going to watch, but mm. perform. It's right. crazy. You know, it's laughs. interesting because I, I, early on in comedy, I, I, I was taking an acting class, which I never did, but I was confused by why it is that like the first couple times you tell a joke, it, it will kill and it has an energy like you can't really explain. And then, and then it just goes away. And I'm, was convinced that's part of because of the performance of it and yeah the, the teacher kind of couldn't answer it a few times when i asked and then i figured out a way to word it in a way that he was like well the explanation i, I liked was because the first time you're telling a joke you're connected to the actual occurrence of when it occurred to you how it felt yeah and the feeling of it and so your my connection makes the crowd connect because that's what happened and then the 10th time you're telling it, you're now connected. Your connection is the words on the page in exact order and you're blah, blah, blah. And so there's no connection. So the crowd doesn't have that connection. And then, and then the joke has to stand on its own and it most don't without you, you know? Right. So did improv by taking improv, did that sort of make even, even jokes that you tell a hundred times feel new because of the way you're telling it, it, it with the, with improv sort of it helps, it helps me be in the moment personally. Like, so if I'm reading the crowd and how the energy's going, I can fuck around and just be in the moment when before I would just totally be in my head. Right. So, and that helps with the whole yes and mentality of just going with the flow and then just seeing where it goes. You know, you either. So how do you both go with the flow and stay in the script, so to speak? Oh, I don't know. But you do. You repeat jokes that you have, and you re, you repeat them. Maybe not word for word, mm -hmm. but you're definitely repeating the jokes in the way that work. So mm -hmm. you're you are on the script and in the oh, moment. Oh yeah, at the same yeah. Time. It's how just do you, how do you achieve that? Oh, I don't know. I've noticed I mean, that like when you do it, and it's jokes I've heard. I've I I, I hear them because they go to the mics all the time, and you do them in a different energy that kind of matches the room a little bit, and you adapt to it. And then it's funny to me, like one word is different. I'm like, oh, that's different and that's funny. Mm -hmm. And you do the the movie bits where you ask people to tell you movies and you try to make them better like that. That's like an insane off the top of the brain thing. And it it's is. always it... funny because I'm just like, oh, is he going to, are they going to stump him with this one and stuff like that? And then when they do get you, you still make it funny somehow. It's like, I, I think it's a, <laughs> you're a good energy guy, I feel like with that. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm noticing. I mean, I'm, who am I, you know? Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. But I assume that like, if somebody names the movie like The Godfather, you've you've said the same punchline to that, I'm sure a hundred times. Not much, well, no, that one in particular, not many, the whole make a movie better bit is a lot newer. Yeah. So. Didn't you used to have a bit like that then? Oh, I got to name any horror movie. And he'll give you the synopsis for oh, quickly okay. and shittily as possible. Yeah. So, you, so it's a, this is a totally different thing. This is yeah. you name any movie, <laughs> and I'm not telling you synopsis. I'm just going to tell you how to make it better. Yeah. Okay. You know? Yes. Um, I was trying to, I, 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 when I hear, like when I hear you do that, mm -hmm. I'm the I'm the guy in the back of the room yelling out like, Devil, with, Devil Wears Prada. Like the, some, right. some stupid movie that you're like, you know. I saw it in Prada. theater. I 16 saw in Candles theaters. or whatever. You know, I'm just. Right. How would you make Devil's wear, Devil Wears Prada better? And does uh, make a sequel called Jesus Wears Sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, dude. That's fucking good. <laughs> Did you think about that because I brought it up to you after oh, the show? Oh, of course. Oh, of course. That's the first thing I thought of. Yeah? Oh, yeah. But as beautiful. soon as you said that, I was like, man, I really let Tom down by not answering him right away. Like, <laughs> seriously, I hate being stumped. Yeah. But I enjoy it too. Because I've done it you, to you twice and I was just like, no, I didn't mean oh, to. Oh, that's do the that. funniest stuff because you say great movies, but for it's, it's my brain's so all over the place because yeah. normally if it's scary movies, I'm like, okay, I expect a level here mm -hmm. of where this is going to go. Yeah. And we like the same movies, I feel like. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think you said Goodfellas one time. Yeah. And what I meant to say was that the way to make that movie better is that it's actually a prequel to <laughs> to home alone <laughs> and joe pesci he, he just because he just becomes a bandit he's like you know what i'm tired of this mafia shit the shot Gets to the, 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 the shot to the back of my head didn't kill me yeah i'm gonna he go actually, they cut out the scene where he stands up after getting shot in the head and goes son of a freaking <laughs> 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 
but it, it can go anywhere and it's a it's a fun one but it's easy to get stumped on that one because i haven't seen every fucking movie right. i've seen a lot but i haven't seen them all i mean ain't no telling so now your show it. generally like if you're doing a half an hour it's mm -hmm. It's a blend of sort of oh, yeah. improv and bits that you have. So mm -hmm. you'll go on stage with maybe eight jokes, like sort of on your mat, in your, on your mental set right. list, and you may get to two of them. You may get to eight of them. It doesn't. Yeah, you don't I may really have know. to do more and you know run out of material. Like it's all about my memory. My memory is the worst when it comes to like remembering bits. I have, I have a know? similar problem. Huh? I have a similar problem. Yeah, I despise it. It's the worst. That's why I kind of try to fuck around, and if if the crowd's feeling it, I can, you know, you can really milk a set by just improv and having a good time. Cause that, I don't know if it, if the if this is improv or whatever, but something happens too sometimes when you're up there that's like, you don't know what you're going to do next, but then all of a sudden it's there. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't know what joke I'm going to do in, and sometimes like through the show and then it, yeah, it just comes to it's you. Just, I just know. It, yeah. It's one. like with the right, all of a sudden it's there. Other times I get to the end of a bit and my brain will just, do you think freeze, that comes from trusting yourself second. more, maybe? Huh? Do you think that comes from trusting yourself more, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it's, it's as like soon as I start thinking, ah, oh, this is going great, bam, fucking mind goes blank or whatever. You know, yep. it's like, you yeah. know, so. I think so too. And I, I have to walk the line of either being in the moment and sometimes being in the moment, if I, if I stay in the moment, it fucks me up because now I'm addressing that door opened and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? All you the, can't some turn of the, it off. Yeah, you yeah. start to address it, and then it's like your OCD start, and then you get nowhere. You know, it's other like times, Superman other times it connects me. Are huh? trying to. It's like Superman when he first got his powers. He's like, ah, I can see through that wall. Now I can see and hear everybody talking. Ah. Uh, yeah, that'd be mm -hmm. the worst. Yeah, or you can try to play catch up to the material where you're like, oh, okay, I need to do material, and it's like. How you know, do you where naturally? Is it? Yeah, where where did I leave off, or where was I, or it's the weird. It's the weirdest thing. I think you're doing the right thing by not the way to reach like that state and where you're saying like you retrieve it at the right moment. I mean, that's just straight up flow. You know, that's Zen. You that happened for a reason because you weren't trying to make it happen. Right. Other than the fact of doing what you've worked your ass off, you know, being on stage and stuff. So naturally your brain's going to work that way. But I think the way they teach being in the flow is that you you can't search it you can't try for it it's about let, like i don't know the wind doesn't worry about blowing water doesn't worry where it flows it just flows to wherever it, it'll go i don't know i think we should be the same way but it's hard to explain that be like water yeah be drink water as <laughs> as he said yeah I said, "Be like water." No, I know. I was fucking oh. with you. I, I know. I know he that saying. He that. did it again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See what he does? He's genius in the moment. He just changes the, the dragon. Word. How do you make yeah. that better? How do you make that better? Yeah. Okay, so just make him Liu Kang. <laughs> make right? him who? Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Oh. Because it's the movie's Mortal Kombat is pretty much based off of Enter the Dragon. Yeah. But with magic. That joke doesn't work for me. Oh, I know, but I don't do comedy for people your age either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do comedy for Zane. any Gone age. with the wind. How do you make that Zane. one better? Hell, one what time. the fuck, dude? Come on. That's right. not that far back. <laughs> All right. Let's if you go just, spring break. If you just... Uh, Let's go uh, Revenge of the Nerds. Revenge of the um, Nerds? That's sort of, that's okay. sort of my era. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> How do you make that movie better? Okay. He consensually has sex with that girl. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how you make it better. You rewrite a modern day version of it, but the new bullies are the nerds. Right, because mm. they're the ones running the computers. They're the ones running esports. They're the ones, and now the the really? jocks have to now beat the nerds, and they do it at esports or website building or something. And now it's it's revenge of the jocks, and it just flips back, and then Ooh. they get the nerds' girls, blah blah blah, and they get it all back. I like that idea. I don't. I I don't. I like it. Okay. I don't know how. Because they have the physical power. Yeah. You know what I mean? It seems like nothing would stop them from just instantly being like, like <laughs> knocking them out of the way. Well, they couldn't in the first one. Oh, yeah, they did. They beat them up a yeah. lot. But they ended up losing in the long run, right? Well, but and nerds the, are the new bullies oh, in yeah. real life. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. I mean, there's bullies everywhere, but a, a group that was never bullies is now 
being bullies is what yes. has the ability to be bullies as yeah, well. There's almost like a societal version of that weird uh, experiment where they with the prison guards where they made people prison glasses. Guards then, yeah, I know they had to stop the thing because it got so out of hand. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> I mean, I would go crazy too. I'm like, I don't know if this is real. Like, you know, what I mean, <laughs> after a while, you just kind of just, well, I like playing pretend. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, dedication to the bit. You know. Yeah. I mean, I, as long as I'm not a fucking prisoner, I'm cool. Uh, what were you talking about? The, Gone um, with the wind. How do you make that better? Oh, God. Gone with the wind. Okay. If you just take out all the pretentiousness, we'll have a five minute movie we kind of <laughs> all watch. <laughs> People have fucking pictures of it all over the place yeah. <laughs> at their house. It's my favorite movie. Right. <laughs> How about Live on Sunset Strip? Live on Sunset Strip. Okay. I go back and uh, I tell my younger self to not watch that movie <laughs> because I have, I, I, and I don't have to because I've never seen it. I have no idea. What's it called? You've never seen Live on Sunset Strip? Live on Sunset Strip? Uh uh. The Richard Pryor uh, special from the special Live on Sunset Strip? I don't watch stand up. Oh wow! Who were you? Who you? Who were you? Who were you a fan of growing up? Nobody. Characters and stuff like that on TV. Actors. Uncle Jesse. Yeah, Uncle Jesse. Technically, I mean, he, you know, yeah, he was a big one for me. Yeah. It was Uncle Jesse. Was Uncle Jesse. And if we're talking stand up world, I don't know a lot of. I I, I just don't watch. So comedy. what made you do stand up? Was, what else would I start doing? You know, I don't know. I just. The only way you didn't watch stand up, but you're like, I think I'd like to do stand up comedy. I'm not saying I hadn't ever seen it. I'm just saying I wasn't. You know how people are like, oh, have you seen the new, you know, booby uh, special? You know, Boobert. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen Boobert's new special? <laughs> no, I've never seen Boobert. I don't know who they are. I don't. If I meet you in person, I know you. Boobert sounds. And like I'm it. not saying I don't know big names like Kevin Hart and Cat Williams, and I've you know I've seen some of the Pimp Chronicles and shit like that, and. If I had to choose a favorite, it's uh, Pablo Francisco. Wow, you you really stick to the minorities in this little string, right? You're like Eddie. Who'd you say before? Eddie Murphy, mm. Cat Williams. Cat Williams, yeah. I don't know. I, I just like how you. I like how you. You're, you're, you don't just like the white guys telling jokes. You know what I'm I mean, I don't like watching anybody on my TV screen tell jokes. Really? What a waste of my fucking time. <laughs> I see what it all. What are you all doing then? I'm doing what I love doing and watching okay. people do what I love doing at the same time. I'm not going to be like, like if you have a special, I'll watch your special because I know you. Okay. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to be like, oh, honey, you know, you know what I'd like to do? Spend all this time with you doing, watching what I try to do all the time. Yeah. Give it, these people are a lot better because they're, you know, famous and shit. But to me, it's what, how boring. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I, I love watching comedy, but I, I'm not going to do it at home. Yeah. Okay. I go home to to write comedy and to chill out, eat breakfast. <laughs> but it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I'm focused on is just getting better at being funny. Okay. And doing what I think it just, I don't know, like you're talking about the, the men, like being angry and not angry. I just, something occurred in me that I'm like, if I'm not loving or being loving, then I, I'm wasting my time here. We, we can say that about every moment we're in in life. Yeah, I think so too. Because we're all, no Put matter that with the water quote and we fucking got something, you know what I'm saying? Maybe. I don't know what that means. You did the thing about water being like water. And oh yeah. Drink water. your water. <laughs> <laughs> that tell you that Bruce Lee. He's always yeah. like, say your prayers, eat your vitamins and drink that Neuter fucking water. <laughs> I, remember, I remember when he said that. If you could go back in time and have dinner with any person alive or dead, who would it be? Oh my goodness. Anybody? Yeah. Have dinner with them. Mm -hmm. yeah, who's a good cook? <laughs> have the greatest cook of all time cook you a meal yes and i'll be, and i'll be like who are you is that julia because <laughs> i don't watch cooking either yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit i guess i would sit with uh and this us say oh shit man either macho man randy savage nice. or lao su lao su, lao su? Mm -hmm. there you go Ching. Okay. yeah yeah I, yeah i'd like to like to okay. talk, pick his mind. Yeah. Do you read his books? I mean, I read the Tao. Okay, that's that's it. That's enough for me. <laughs> it, now, when you when you say you read the the is it Tao or Dao? Which is it? I say Tao. It doesn't matter, right? When you read the Tao, do you? I mean, is it a thing you read 
repeatedly or do you have a specific translation that you like or do you i just i turn to a page i read something and then i think about what it means and if i like that one i'll, I'll keep going and if i don't feel like reading i'll just i'll just put something on youtube i love youtube uh they got good koans and all kinds of 101 buddhist teachings and stuff like that that i think are really good for you even though i know the tao ain't buddhist Throw away holiness and wisdom, and people will be a hundred times happier. Throw away what? Holiness and wisdom. Mm. Mm -hmm. That throw away more morality and justice, and people will do the right thing. Throw away industry and profit, and there won't be any thieves. If mm. these three aren't enough, just stay at the center of the circle and let all things take their course. That's a whole lot of nothing. That's wisdom? That's, you consider that wisdom? Yeah. Oh, most definitely. I see what he's saying. You do. I mean... Yeah, I see what he's saying. I mean, you really do you really think that's like useless words or oh, no? Or well, I can't tell from you sometimes. Like you really, I was like, golly, you really got American right there. Like, <laughs> that's a whole bunch I don't of hear nothing about Jesus. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking that there might be something that, like when you were saying about the water. It sounded like something that would be in the doubt, like about the water and how yeah. how it. You know, oh, I goes. guarantee it's in there. I can't. I can't like. You know how people can quote like quotes, unless it's in a movie. I can't quote a quote. Have you ever quotes read the Tao of Poo? The Tao of Poo? I haven't. I think you'd like this. Yeah, I think I would too. Yeah, it's cute as fuck. It is really cute. It is a cute book, and it makes you think about when you the the. Uh, <laughs> when you the, the makes when you, think, you say I think you'd like it, it, it seemed like you were gonna let him borrow it. <laughs> oh, you can. Here. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought <laughs> yeah. was going to happen. You can, you, can, you can borrow that. The way Dusty looked at me, just like, okay. I, uh, like, I mean, mm. what am I? I'm not gonna force the book on him. I got books here. If you want one, take it. And when you're oh, done with wow. that one, the Dub Piglet is another one. It's like it's it breaks down the Tao in the form of conversations with Winnie the Pooh. The Pooh way. Oh, it's great. <laughs> I, I used to say that all the time. I'm gonna try to live the Pooh way. You know what I mean? You just you take things as they are, and you just. They'd be happy about everything that's happening all around you at all oh, times. Yeah. It helps to try to be that way. Yeah. It does for me anyway. Like I just, I'm much more happier now than I was when I wasn't. Right. Mm. And that's better. That's so better is good in my opinion. Like I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm a weird person here, but I like good. I like better. <laughs> Those are my type of things. I think everybody's looking for best. Everybody's like, Oh, who's the goat? Who's the goat? The goat is only subjective to the time that you're looking in. Like, who's the greatest whatever? I don't know. I don't know all of time. I hadn't been there yet. I, <laughs> I will know all of time one day. You know, I'm sure. It's funny how you can say something that is actually profound and also very funny. Well, that's what I like to do. Because <laughs> right. that makes the, a lot of sense. The key to comedy, I never really dude. thought of that. What's your, uh, what was the question you asked him? Take that on yourself. We'll oh yeah, who would you? Uh, who would you? Who would with? you drink if you could? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who would I have Whose blood with? would you drink if you were a vampire? <laughs> who would I have dinner with? Ooh. Um. Hmm. That is a hard one. Somebody you never met too. The reason I asked you because I, I feel like people say stuff like that. They'd say like, "Oh, Benjamin Franklin or oh, Jesus," Bourdain. and it's like, "Well, you you know they have." things they actually wrote. Have you read the, what they had to say? Not really. Okay. Well, then you you really don't care what he had to say. You're I'd just... have a meal with Anthony Bourdain. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd talk to him, yeah. Because it's like his thing, too. You know, we're like, we're doing his thing. We're eating. And then he's always got cool shit to say when we're eating. So, right. so, so cool guy. Don't I know who one. Anthony is, but Tom doesn't. So yeah. explain to Tom who Anthony Bourdain is. Anthony Bourdain is like, he was like a journalist guy that went around and just traveled, ate food. He was like a chef. So there you go. He could cook it and probably cook it really well. See, I didn't know that. And I just put that on you yeah. that you didn't know, but I didn't know either. I know who he is. See, he had I had a didn't. show on CNN for a long time. Yeah. Either. And he it's, cook. He's a well, cook. He would, he would cook, he would go cook with them and he would go find like cool places to eat in crazy places or wherever he was, wherever he was put down, so to speak. Uh -huh. And then he was just, it was about the, it was about the connecting with the people through food mm -hmm. and through, it was, oh, cool. it was cool, right? He was, you know what I'm saying? It, he like wouldn't go to fancy restaurants and he'd go to like, he'd go get like street food and stuff. And, like, really? Yeah. Okay. Like the, he'd go to, I think he went to Korea one time or no, no. I really liked the one where he went to Myanmar, Myanmar, wherever. Myanmar. And then like, yeah. And then like ate, ate the street food and everything. Like, I really like that one a lot. Right. 
He's just a cool dude. Yeah, yeah. What happened to him? Uh, he died. He overdosed, I think. Oh, yeah. He killed himself. Mm. Well. I just want to put that out there. If you yeah, could, thanks, if you, okay. <laughs> Leaves so, a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah. Bit. So same question to you. If you could eat anybody in history, <laughs> <laughs> who would it be? Uh, I don't know. Might be that girl from the Black Eyed Peas. Oh. <laughs> uh, why Cliff John? <laughs> I used to do that as a joke. Like at the, at New Year's, you're supposed to eat, you're supposed to eat Black Eyed Peas for for good luck. Yeah. I was like, well, what? Do, I just I don't want to eat a Black Eyed Peas. I just want to. I just I would just like to eat the lead singer. Actually, that was a joke. <laughs> Will I am? Huh? Well, the, you know what I mean. What's her name? Gwen, Gwen Stefani. Fergie. Mm. Isn't it Fergie? Gwen, you don't even know her name. Is it Fergie or Gwen you Stefani? Can, you can't even properly sexualize I her. I think yeah. it's Fergie. I don't know. That's not sexualizing her. She. <laughs> yes. Anyway, maybe it is. So if you could have meet somebody from whenever, who would you choose? Yeah, who would yours be, Tom? Who's your choice? These questions, uh, I know these are these are good. I'm questions. just happy to have you here. You know what I'm saying? Well, like I'm happy I, to be. I here. feel like I, I right now, I, the person I want to talk to is you. You know what I mean? Do right now is I need you to like we've been hired. The Dawapu actually Benjamin Huff is has has hired us to advertise that book. Well, Do you have a character that could maybe sell this book to uh to to our listener? Oh, the Tao of Pooh, <laughs> a character. <laughs> I gotta put you right on the spot. Check your improv skills. Give us one of your little bits. Get, yeah, you got a character, one of your characters. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't want to make you do that. That's weird. But whatever. No, it's not. It's not awkward at all. The. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's very awkward. <laughs> it's extremely awkward. It's got the chair boo right here. <laughs> I'm done. But <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going. To, I don't think a, I don't think you need a character to sell yeah, the you towel got poo of poo. Right I say, motherfucker, you got poo. Yeah, he's even even flying That's a kite. Like getting another basketball player to advertise Jordans. How's that right possible? There. You got yeah. poo. You got poo the bear. Yeah, poo bear. You know, Christopher Robin hated his dad because of all the poo and piglet and Eeyore shit. What it's, do you mean? Oh yeah, the real. Uh, What's his name? Benjamin Robin? Yeah. The guy who wrote the book? No, no, no. Oh, the, the guy who wrote the real book. Um, the yeah, boy, yeah. though. The boy's the name. The boy of the guy who wrote. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wasn't his name? Christopher Robin. Yes. yes. The real Christopher Robin in real life hated his dad because of the poo stuff. Huh. Why? You made because it, so it was fun. all about him. Oh. Uh, now, every time he says, hi, I'm Christopher Robin, people are like, just like from the book. Hey, I, think he's, I think there was a documentary or a movie about that, right? Where the, about yeah. that story of him. Johnny Hanley? Depp. No, oh, maybe, I'm thinking Robin. about Peter Pan. Ewan McGregor, I think, was in that one. Okay, that's where, yeah. It's not that old, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, like a couple years ago. But uh, I just always found that hilarious. Yes. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> he's one of the most beloved, one of the most beloved children ever, and he's like, "Your dad was so loved you so much. He made a book about, made Fuck a whole thing." Like, Fuck my dad, that's right. uh, Chris. Cr out, like he what a <laughs> what a bitch, what a dummy. <laughs> he exploited me and my stuffed animals. It was embarrassing. People, people think I play with I play with teddy bears all the time. Like, what's wrong with that? You're Chris for Robin. Yeah, you're a kid. You can do whatever you want. Hey, son, I came back from the horrors of war. I want to let you know how much I love you, so I named this children's book character after you, and you have this own little magical kingdom. Fuck you, Dad. It's so weird. Look at you, big man. Yeah. <laughs> you big man. Like, he just said, had enough. CR out. He's like, I've had enough of you, director, writer of Pooh Bear. I don't know his dad's name. Yeah. I how guess long did you have, uh, how long did you hang on to your... Uh, your stuffed animals like in your, Me? In, your um, in your bed and sleeping with them and stuff my favorite stuffed animal was this monkey that had like velcro on his hands um but i think i gave i think it was like fifth grade no 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 it was a little late beanie baby one his name was bongo he was my favorite and it was like fifth grade and i was like getting a little old for this and i went to my dad and i was like keep bongo in your truck and then think of me when you see Bongo. So Bongo is still in my dad's truck right now. What? Yeah. Really? Bongo lives. Mm -hmm. Bongo lives. There's also Larry the Lobster. He's up at, he's a little uh, uh -huh. Beanie Baby too. He's up in my dad's like sunglasses little thing in his truck. Now your dad loves yeah. you. Yeah. 
He didn't write any children's books about the me. So that's why guy. I love him so much. Oh, that's cool. The slucky guy, over here. <laughs> yeah. loving father, how has a beanie. Ha- how brother. long do you hang on to yours? Does it have to be stuffed, or does it is it just a toy? Did you have a stuffed animal? Like, did you have no. a teddy bear or anything? Well, I collect. Uh, I still collect them if I find them. Those uh, red bulldogs they used to have at carnivals or festivals and stuff like that that you or could win them. Yeah, yeah, or the red game. ones, huh? Or a Georgia game? A Georgia game. Oh, the Georgia Bulldogs. It, yep. No, um, okay. I I don't want I don't watch sports either. <laughs> watch sports, oh, they had the jowls. They were always like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. cute as shit. So I have a big collection of those, but I never was like <laughs> I just like I want them all. <laughs> like I, I, I was a kid, but I felt powerful. Right. I was like, look at what I have accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if I had to choose a toy, it was this little plastic uh, tiger, and I, I named her Tiger Lily. And um, I would uh, put on little shows on the bus with this kid, Hampton. He he was like oh, my bus man. buddy. He got off first. Lucky, lucky fuck. You know, <laughs> I always got on about last. So as soon as he left, I just put my head on the glass and fell asleep. <laughs> but dream be- of Hampton. But before then, I'd do a quick episode because he was the first person off. So I only had like maybe eight minutes. Mm. And I'd put on a show and I'd have all these characters I had a corn stalk man made out of corn stalk. <laughs> I found like an old Wolverine figurine and put a toilet paper all over it and drew a funny face. Just whatever I would find around the school. And they all ended up flying out the window. <laughs> Except nice. for Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily still exists at my mom's house. Nice. That's cool. That I love cool. that these toys live on. What about you, Tom? You're the one asking. I, th- I think it would be fun to like have a little, you know, do a little, uh, do a little, Toy theater. You can do yeah. it right here out of this. Dude, there's like... You know what I mean? Like right out of here. That would be... That's like what I did as a kid. Me and my buddies, we got a camcorder and I would get my buddy's younger brother. We were like in sixth... We were like in fourth, fifth grade and we were like too cool for like that kind of stuff. So we would use his brother's like toy stuffed animals and whatever and we'd do that and like make them fight with like cameras and camcorders and stuff. So it's kind of full circle for me. Right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Do you have any of that footage still? No, I don't know where that is. Huh. I'd have to ask him. It's got to be out there, though. Maybe. Owen hung on to his for a long time. Like, I remember when he first started, like, dating. Date, like, he had a yeah. girl come over, and they were watching, like, television on the couch. And I remember being, like, having that moment of, like, oh, dude, you, he's laying on the couch snuggling a girl. Like, it's just, you can't be on the couch with a girl and then also have stuffed animals in your bed. You know what I mean? It's time now Maybe to she make liked that because he was sensitive. You know what I mean? So it's... So he hung on to his just pretty long. Yeah? Yeah. I see your pretty point. Long. 13, 14, he still had him around. He wasn't necessarily sleeping with him. He, yeah. would take, he would take him with him to sleepovers and stuff like that, too. So mm. up for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, there's something, there's something special about that, in a way. I think... I don't remember having any, to be honest. Yeah. No, when it comes to stuffed animals, where I'm like, oh, I got to have this to sleep. Not really. I never had that. Yeah. But I just, because I knew I had like 15,000 red bulldogs to protect me <laughs> right. constantly. Because, you know, somebody's coming in, they're going to kidnap the shit out of me. I don't think so when I got like 50 fake dogs. <laughs> right. It's awesome. Get out of here, boys. He's got the bulldogs. Get him, birds. <laughs> <laughs> On the ships, they make like the towels into towel oh, animals yeah. and stuff. So I, I love the stuffed animals because I could throw them and they wouldn't break. Yeah. Yeah. Toss that's them in tr- the ceiling fan. And that's make them, true. You can oh, make yes. them dance, whatever. Those were the greatest ones. They wouldn't break. That video games, big video game yeah. person. Uh, but I think a lot of it has to do with the imagination. I never, I didn't quit playing pretend. I don't, I've never quit. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I think playing pretend is something that we, we just lose as we get older because, oh, real life, you can't do this. You can't do that. Like you said. I don't do pretend either. You don't? No. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Seems I'm, like you do. No, I don't. No, I don't. I really don't. Okay. Believe me, I, I, I love you. I, how do, I how do you know friend. I don't do pretend then? I could just tell. I mean, <laughs> what are the characters? A pretender. Believe me, a person who, who pretends can tell another pretender. As someone oh, yeah? who loves you, Tom, I, I, I can say that as well. I don't think you yeah. pretend. You're a very matter-of-fact person. Yeah. Okay. And and that's not bad. That's that We need people like that. You know what I mean? But you do a job that is pretendable. Like it, yeah. it's the feeling of, you know, when we're on stage, we're not pretending when we're on stage, but we are in a way of, of a, 
of an episode of something. That's what it feels like, you know? Trying to pretend to be authentic. Maybe. Who knows? There's a weird, like, and yeah, and then you get there somehow, where then you start to become authentic. No, and I take that back. I think you do pretend. I mean, you do, You acted on a TV show. You know how to pretend. Take that back a well, little bit. Act, you know to, well, yeah. act and pretend are two different things, right? That's true. They're different But you got to pretend to be somebody as an actor. I think it's different types of pretend. And when I mean pretend, it's not like, <laughs> I see a dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's imagination. Right. Like, I... Uh, yeah, I, I've never had like, a, like um, look, hey, Big Pen, what are you doing? I'm coming over here to... Right. You know, I don't have a, Being silly. That was me doing it right there. <laughs> yeah. Pen. What are you doing, Pen? I don't know. I'm thinking about going to the bank. Oh, look, I'm a true lion. You're doing it now. But you're you? not afraid to be silly. Yeah. yeah no. You know, I don't... I think sometimes you may give off that energy where it's like, I, I'm not silly. But the thing is... I, oh, I'm are. silly, dude. I know you are. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm super silly. I, <laughs> that's a good thing. I think people need to be... More silly and goofy. I'm like silly putty. If you lay me down on a newspaper, sticks to me. Sticks right to you. Yeah. Is that what they used to do with silly putty? Yeah. You put it on the newspaper and it <laughs> picks it up. Yes. Yeah. I never owned any. A newspaper or, or silly putty? Both. <laughs> <laughs> the putty. Never silly putty. It was always Play Doh. Uh, and that shit just got hard. Yeah. You ever leave a top open and you come back and that oh, shit's it's like around. a hard as shit. Yes. <laughs> Look like a dinosaur turd. Mm -hmm. How long you been married? Uh, a year. This past October. Really? So it's new. Yeah. Mm hmm. But I've been with. Did she meet you through comedy, comedy or farming or sawmill? Through milk? improv. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she, she met her through farming. He pulls her out of the ground. <laughs> I don't know. I think this one here is right but no. <laughs> she could be a seed salesman. I don't know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He might have met her down at the at the at the the farm equipment store. I don't yeah. know. You know what I'm saying? Oh met, yeah. No, nah, it was improv. And uh, could have met her on Farmers Only. Yeah, I never had to rely on that shit. Yeah. But the uh, no, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> but yeah, she came up to me and she found out that I was a farmer and started asking me questions about farming. That's and I, what I'm doing. I make, I got a shot. Well, I swear to God that I thought she was making fun of me. Like I really thought that she was kind of just like being a little demeaning. Cause mm. I didn't know her from Jack. I just met her. Right. And I thought that she was married, had the perfect life, you know, had the kids picket fence. Cause me at the time I was jaded as shit. I was mm. just unhappy, just trying to make it. And then I found out she wasn't married. I was like, all right. <laughs> well, so let's and now, since so that, like, now you're a happy human being that looks at life differently. Oh, yeah. Very much. Is so. that? Do you think that they coincide or it was because of her? Like you just happened to be moving into that phase of your life or because she gets a lot of that credit for turning you from this oh, on yeah, the road I think to she bitter gets man a, to now like happy? Oh, she gets all the credit, you know? Like I think we all have to control our own ways that we react to things. But when you, when a certain energy gets near another certain energy and helps to heal as the other heals the other, mm. it's because I was helping her as much as she was helping me. It's just, I can only speak from my own experience. Right. That I was just, like I said, broken, jaded, upset, betrayed, felt. And then to find somebody who you could play pretend with, somebody who you could be silly around and really vulnerable true vulnerability she she knows who i am yes like without the clothes without uh, she's even seen me naked a couple of times <laughs> oh, wow. she walked in on me taking a shower i was like honey <laughs> I was like, get out of here you won right you're the champ you're the king of comedy right now right yeah i got lucky this year i did, I did a couple of lucky jokes yeah. Did a little dance. <laughs> That's the one comedy. Gave them their candy. <laughs> yeah, it it felt good. It was a good it was a good good show. Did it you know you'd show. won Probably when you walked show. off stage? I felt like I had. And that's all I wanted to do was just feel like I did mm. good. Mm. Right. That's good. That's it's all a, that's the weird whole thing in those because I know you've not won them before, right? Oh yeah. Every time I ever did it. Right. Except for once. So, yeah. So totally won that one. Right? Yeah. Did you have the same Understood. feeling coming off stage those other nights when you didn't win as you did? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I have. Yeah. yeah. I've, uh, only had one experience where I was out of the finals where I was like, I, I, I was really mad with myself. 
Is it the Edward Scissorhands? Yeah, it was the <laughs> Edward Scissorhands bit. It was I'd walked out and I did it. Not, and when you're in a theater, you know as well. You gotta the timing's a little different. And I'm like just waiting, and I'm like, oh god, they're not going to laugh. Right. They, they are not. going You wait laugh that extra Edward's second for the laughter to come back, and then it doesn't. And you're like, now I've just given them an extra long silence. I had a guy, another local <laughs> farmer, come to the finals, come up to me afterwards. Pat me on the back, it's like, I really don't know what you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we could come. Glad we could come. I felt like such a fucking idiot. I was so mad. I got so drunk out of anger and mad madness at myself. And then any other time, I've I've just learned to just let it go. Like. You know? It's interesting how it can change your perspective. Like you can get off stage and be like, man, that was one of the best sets of my life. And then the judges results come in and now you don't feel funny anymore because you didn't win, you know, you didn't well, win that night or you didn't. It can. Yeah, it can. I think that's where we have to take ourselves out of it sometimes. Like it's not, it's all about just doing the best you can. That's all I try to aim for is to do the best I can because the best I can do is the the best I can do is the best that I can do or else it wouldn't be the best I can do. It would just, it would be like the, the mediocreist I can do. As long as I walk off stage feeling like I did that, then I, I win Yeah. in here, you know, everything else is just semantical. I don't know. Like if you win, great. If you lose, fine. You yeah. feel better if you win. Well, I think you're funny. Every time I'm in the room and you're, you make, you change the room, you change the energy. You make me feel funnier. You make me want to be funnier. You're a fucking good comic, man. You make me a better woman. So Tom. You are, you are. <laughs> seriously, like I love watching your comedy. And one of the best compliments I've ever gotten. I was early into comedy. We were at Coronor, the place you don't remember. Uh, and it was a mic. I thought that place was ours place. Like, <laughs> we'll always have Coronor. It's like you I remember that, that place? I'm like, nah, I've never been there. I guess that has she I guess that has she meant nothing to you. <laughs> <laughs> we share. But you, uh, you'd you come up to me after my set, and I was pretty early in and not much success at all. And you were like, you should be getting shows. You're like, you're funny. You're like, I, I like that. You're like, you, you should be getting shows. You should be getting shows. And I was like, I was like, this guy? Because I'd never met you before. And somebody's like, that's Tom Simmons. And yeah. I was like, oh, my God. That's the, who is that? Who's that? Yeah, exactly. Because I, like I said, I don't know. You know, and they that's told the me beauty. That, so that you can you'll fall for the illusion that I'm a that I'm a well known that I'm a known comedian. You're like, oh, okay, he's like, on that thing I don't watch. I remember, <laughs> I remember mixing you up with another comic one time, and I took a girl on a date to see your show, and I was like, he's a puppet. <laughs> like he's he's got a no joke. This yeah. is such a funny roundabout that I was like, yeah, he does like a puppet thing that I had heard, and he does little music songs and. You didn't do any of those things. I was just up there bitching about you like, were the world. You were way more enjoyable than puppets and music. Oh, that's good to hear. So, yeah, that's why I was like, instantly became a fan after, like, I was already a fan because you had said that. And I'm like, I'll never forget this. You well, know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's the kind of stuff that sticks with you. I am a fan of you. You know what I mean? And they, A lot of people have no idea how, how loved they are or how important they are or how special they are to people around them because we're, we're not taught to t talk to each other like that. I wasn't. I wasn't taught to tell another guy, I love you, you know, but I'll be damned. I'll do it for the rest of my fucking life. Like I'm not, we can't waste our time here not loving each other. I think that's the craziest thing we do as people is just being like, man, how can I dislike this person yeah. who is a physical human being on this body just like me? What a stupid concept to hate people, you know? It takes a lot of energy too. And I'm Have saying that I'm people? not afraid. Have you met people? Oh, I can dislike people, but yes, hate, hate is such a word. We overuse hate like we overuse love. Okay. Well, I love you. I love you, bro. Good. I love every damn one of you. Love, <laughs> love, everybody should do that. Love yeah. everybody. You I have did. done this before. I walked down the street. I did this one year. I was in Vegas and somehow it occurred to me. I decided I was going to. Solicit. I was going, no, I was going to, <laughs> I was going to try to try to see everybody as. Brothers Sounds weird, mind. but I wanted, I was, I, as I walked the streets, I would look into people's eyes and I would try to see them with the love that their mother has for them. Yeah. How long till you got arrested? <laughs> well, mothers don't do anything illegal, you know what I mean? But I, but I definitely, I definitely, as I sort of 
put my mindset into that, I could feel it. Like mm -hmm. as I walked along, it was like I, I literally started to love people. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the end of this episode. I think we, uh, we're we going to love forever. Yeah. It's a Valentine's show. It's a Valentine's oh. show. So get out there and get to fucking. <laughs> no, fucking has nothing to do with love. Oh, yeah. I mean, but it helps. <laughs>